In this video, I'll show you how to add Eventbrite attendees to MailChimp email list automatically. So the idea here is as soon as the attendee is going to register for an event into the Eventbrite application, I'm going to automatically add the very same person into the MailChimp and going to create a contact automatically so that whenever I want to send any kind of email to all my registrants, to all my attendees, I don't need to manually export the CSV file and import it here. I am going to sync all the attendees with MailChimp in real time. If you also want to set this automation for yourself, come with me and I'll show you the whole process step by step. So this is my Eventbrite dashboard and here you can see I have conducted this event with the name Seminar on Growing Your Business Startup and I want as soon as someone is going to register for this particular event, the same person should be added as a subscriber, should be added as a contact into my MailChimp email list and I am going to do that by connecting Eventbrite application with the MailChimp with the help of Pabli Connect. It is an amazing integration and automation software via which you can easily connect multiple applications and automate your task and you can also reach here by typing pabli.com slash connect i will also attach this link into my description box now if you are a new user of pabli connect you will have to sign up for free where you will also get free tasks every month in your account in order to test these kinds of amazing automation well i am already an existing user of pabli connect so that is why i have clicked on sign in directly and then i have clicked on access now and this is how i have reached to the dashboard of pabli connect and and after reaching here, you will have to click on this blue button that is create workflow and simply provide a random name to your workflow to your automation. So I am going to provide the name as add even bright attendees or when attendee is registering for event, add the person in MailChimp list okay in mailchimp okay let me correct the spelling in mailchimp list okay so you can provide any random name to your automation to your workflow and once you will click on create you will find two boxes in front of you so these are actually trigger and action and let me also correct this spelling basically the spelling of this when okay uh, we have double w here okay so click on update and uh, here you can see i have this trigger and action window so trigger means when this happens action means do this so whenever this happens do this understand with an example also whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application let's say send an email via gmail application okay and according to our use case whenever the attendee is going to register for an event into even right application automatically add the attendee into mailchimp application okay so this is how you need to always select the applications in which you are building an automation and here i am building an automation in between even right and mailchimp so that is why i have selected the same application and i want that whenever a new or Order is placed for a tickets to an event so basically I want whenever someone is going to buy or get the tickets they are surely going to register as an attendee into my event and I am going to fetch those details firstly inside Pabli Connect and then we are going to send the same details using Pabli Connect into different application or into the MailChimp application okay so connect even right account so you will have to select this add a new connection and simply click on this button and if you are already logged in into your even right account it will simply ask you for the permission okay so click on allow and this is how the authorization will be successful and your even right account will be immediately connected with pabli connect now it will ask you to select the organization so i have the single organization basically i have kept the organization name as the sonam rai only coming back to pabli connect and here firstly it will ask you to select the event basically whose attendance you would like to capture into the public connect so i have multiple events inside event rights dashboard and i am going to select the seminar on growing your business startup which is going to held on march 14 okay so let me search for the same seminar on growing your business startup okay i have clicked on that click on save and send test request and then you will have to read the instructions it is actually waiting for the webhook response not the webhook response it is waiting for the response okay so once you have clicked over the save and 
test request button do a test submission or record in that application in order to capture the response here so basically it is asking to do a test submission or record and here the test submission or record means making of a new order into our event brights event so that we can capture the details here okay so firstly i will take you to my event so this is the event i have created and let me copy the link of this particular event and here you can see the shareable url of this particular event let me open this particular event into completely a new different tab and then i am going to register as an attendee into this specific event okay all right so here you can see the seminar on growing your business startup and the date of this particular event is actually the march 14 and i am going to reserve my seats here right now only so clicking on details and here i am going to register as an attendee into this specific event all right so it is actually the free uh, click on register and let me provide all the details of the attendees here basically i am going to use the dummy details here all right so here i have provided the first name as the dummy the last name as the user here we have the email address that is admin at the rate pabblitude.com and into this general admission also i have provided the same details clicking on register and here you will see as soon as i am going to registered here for this particular event the details for the same will be captured via pabli connect all right so this is my pabli connects dashboard and here you can see the response is received let me show you the details so currently we have have this configuration webhook id the user id the endpoint url the configuration action and the api url well where are the details of the attendees because i want to add those details inside the mailchimp email list okay so here you can see i have received only these five details okay so in order to fetch the attendee details i am going to fetch those details with the help of order id and here you can see in this api url we have this order id and yes with the help of this id only we are going to fetch other details okay so as a next application again i am going to search for the event right only and here this time i am going to select a different action event because i want to get the details of the attendee with the help of order id so that is why i have selected the same simply click on connect and since i have already made the connection so this time i'll go with the existing connection only and here you can see it is connected immediately now it is asking for the order id and here i have the order id but the problem is this order id consists of extra values also okay so i'll have to first separate these value from this order id and then only i will be able to map this order id okay so simply click on this plus icon before your event right application step and here you will have to search for the text formatter which is an amazing feature of pabli connect via which you can perform various kind of operations within your text and currently i am going to select this text parser because i would like to parse my text okay simply click on connect and it will be connected now it is asking for the text which you would like to parse okay so i would like to parse this particular text which i don't need to manually copy and paste it here i am going to map it and why i am mapping because i want that this data should be changed automatically when this automation will work in real time okay that is why i have specifically mapped this data just in case if i will provide this detail manually that data will remain same asking for the text match after text match before okay so let me copy the after and before text okay so this is the text okay i'm going to take this slash as well and i have pasted the same and in the last i have this slash only so i am going to provide the same and as soon as i'll click on this button you will see how things will be separated and this is how i will receive that order id individually okay and now finally i am going to map this order id here okay so if i'll click on this particular field you will see the above data is not visible currently so firstly either i will have to refresh this automation or i can do one more thing simply please provide any random value here click on save and the data saved is successfully and this is how uh, the automation will be refreshed and now when i will click on this particular field you will find the data here in the drop down okay so the automation has been refreshed and now i can see the data of above two steps and here we have the order id which i have mapped successfully simply click on this button and this is how we will get all the attendee details into our response 
ones okay so let me show you the details one by one all right so here we have the price as the dollar zero zero because currently i have made this registration for the for free okay let me check for other details and here we have the changed date the created date and here we have the name of the person then email address of that attendee and we even have the full name okay so finally we have received the details of the attendee and now i am going to send the same attendee details into the mailchimp email marketing list and for that you'll have to click on this plus icon and simply search for the mailchimp here and once you will select the mailchimp here after that simply select an action event which will be here i would like to create a contact basically create a member so let me search for that specific trigger event basically for the action event well i will go with this add a new member with the custom field all right so i have selected the same click on connect click on add a new connection and it is asking for the token and the data center so simply click on this hyperlink learn more and since i'm already logged in into my mailchimp account in some different tab it has taken me directly to that specific page all right so i'll have to read the instructions enter your api key you can find the above key by logging into your mailchimp account click on the profile picture click on profile extras and then api key all right so as per the instruction i will go back to my mailchimp account once again and here let me first cross this notification and here i have the profile section okay here you can see the profile section simply click on that profile section and then you will find an option of extras okay i'll have to wait for this page and here you can see i have this option of extras click on that and here exactly you can get your api keys all right now scroll down a little bit and you will get a button of create a new key all right here is that button simply click on that button and as soon as you will click on that button the key will be generated automatically here you can see along with the date that it is actually 2nd of february so i am going to copy this key right from here all right so i have copied the same coming back to public connect and here exactly i am going to paste the same asking for the data center fill you can read the instructions so I our data center is actually this one okay example this one so uh, if my url is this then my data center will be this okay so if i will go back to my uh, email chip account my data center is actually this one and i have pasted the same here and let me delete this dot first and clicking on save and this is how mailchimp will be also connected with pabli connect now i just need to provide these details basically i would like to add the email address of the person so that is why i'm going to search for the email address and again i don't need to manually copy any data and paste it here i'm going to map it and mapping is very simple in public connect as soon as you have searched for that data from your drop down simply you will get that data and you will simply have to select that data and this is how the mapping can be performed let me also map the name of the person so here it is asking for the first name and last name so let me search for the name also and this is how i am going to map the first name asking for the last name as well so let me search for the name last name and here we have the last name okay okay so i have provided all the important details which are actually required for creating a subscriber creating a contact into the mailchimp i am going to click on this button save and send test request and will wait for the response to be received and here you can see the response is already arrived okay so going back to my mailchimp account and let me directly open the all contact section and here you can see the same attendee the same name the same last name has been added as a contact into my mailchimp account okay so this is how now onwards every time someone is going to register for your event the same attendee will be added into our mailchimp email list automatically with the help of pabli connect and you need to create this automation inside pabli connect just once and after that every time someone is going to register for the event the person will be added automatically into the mailchimp you do not have to do anything manually you can simply close pabli connect because pabli connect will take care of all the task in the back end and just in case if you want to access this automation into your pabli connect account i will also attach the shareable link of my workflow into my descriptions simply click on this link and sign up into the pabli connect and the same workflow will be cloned into your pabli connect account that too for free
Not just these applications, you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. My team will surely answer to your questions. This is the website of Pabli Connect. And for the latest updates of Pabli Connect and unique automation ideas, you can join our Facebook group that is formget.deals. If you have found this video helpful in any way, share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business. Like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video.